48 hours of terror. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Twisters ripping through the plains, sometimes two at a time. Two tornadoes. More than 148 tornadoes reported across seven states, spurred by a system so strong the Storm Prediction Center issued dire warnings days in advance of the storm. And then, minutes before the tornadoes hit, new warnings with stronger language. This is a life-threatening situation. You could be killed if not underground or in a tornado shelter. Part of a NOAA test to try to push people into action. The warnings seem to work. We have been up kind of listening because it had been bad all day long. So many scenes of remarkable devastation, but very little loss of life. When you came upstairs, what did you see? Devastation. Just devastation. Could you believe it? Yeah, yeah I, believe I could it? believe it because I've seen it before, but never did I have to go through it. Charlie Hogue escaped with his mm -hmm. life, but his house was destroyed. What are you going to do? Just rebuild, I guess. Or find another home, one of the two. So. Across the street today, Paul Lord is recovering, wounded, and seeing his home for the first time since the tornado erased it with his whole family inside. My son come out and looked, and the tornado was right there. He said, you can't make it, let's get inside. It sucked him, or it threw him through the door and down the hallway, and it threw me out in the street. All six of his family members survived. This is just nuts and bolts and bricks and sticks, and we've got all the family is safe, and that's, we've been truly blessed. Still, six people did die over the weekend, just a few miles northeast in a different part of Woodward, Oklahoma. The sirens, I guess the sirens were messed up by the lightning. I guess a lot of people didn't get enough warning. The warning was out, but sirens didn't go off early Sunday morning. Lightning shorted them out in an earlier storm. Then the EF3 tornado with max winds of 165 miles per hour hit. You could see it with the, the lightning. When the lightning struck up, you could see it. It was huge. Lacey Hutchinson got one look and started running. And then I holler, is anyone out there? If you can hear me, please wake up. There's a train on the, door, on the ground. Her screams became a makeshift siren for her neighbors, but she wasn't heard by all. The mayor of Woodward says, lesson learned. For everything to work until it actually happened and you realize the technology is not as good as we think it is. A backup to a backup will save lives. Sirens are intended for outdoor use only. There is no regulation from state to state, county to county on how they work or when they're sounded. And when budgets get cut, they're often the first to go. Tornado warnings can be issued when radar indicates or when storms are confirmed by educated, experienced spotters or emergency officials. Just look at this tornado we saw born in Oklahoma. You don't see it touch all the way to the ground, but it is a full tornado right now. You can see some of it right at the base and then some at the top. So when those two meet, that's really how the tornado forms. Just touching down, watch this. We've called 911. The new NOAA warnings are so important no matter how you get them. What we're attempting to do with the impact base warnings is to communicate risk. Oftentimes people make a decision about whether they're in danger from a storm based on an experience they've had with weather in the past. Most people have never had the experience of a stronger tornado. NOAA weather radios are great, battery powered and they'll wake you from the deepest of sleeps. But what do you do when you aren't home? Download an app that gives the NOAA radio warnings via text. You always want to have multiple ways of receiving that information and then be able to take that information, take action on it, make those decisions that ultimately could save your life. And while no one can predict the number of tornadoes that touch down or the number of homes lost, it's hoped that with the new warning language, the most important number will continue to decline, the number of lives lost. For Nightline, I'm Ginger Z.